Hey, good morning. What up, my freddies? I just woke up and I decided to film this video. Uh, I had this replay made, or I had this replay played? I played this game uh, a couple days ago and it's still kind of fresh in my memory and I wanted to put this in the video because Ranbats, man, Vaporeon is, 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 is dummy. And uh, I'm sorry if I start to ramble throughout this video because I, I mean, I just woke up. I'm still pretty groggy, but I wanted to put out a video for you guys. But I'm probably going to release this video, what, a couple hours from now? I don't know. But um, Temgen or Temyen, if you're watching, I'm so sorry for being the most annoying person on Showdown. I know nobody likes Stall, but I didn't really have a choice, man. Your team was insane, and you played like a champ. Honestly, I think you deserve the win, but it's just Vapor Vaporeon is super annoying. And um, yeah, I, I thought I'll do a commentary style video just illustrating or talking about what I thought. Uh, at this point in, uh, in the game, I decided to try and stall out the Zapdos because it was a threat. Um, the only things I can really remember about this game is that Mesprit was choice scarfed and it, has, it had Healing Wish, so I was kind of saving up when to use it because I didn't know uh, which Pokemon to use it on. And I knew that I needed to keep the Vaporeon alive because it was the only answer to Incineroar. Incineroar was going to hurt the whole team, so yeah, and <laughs> doing this commentary thing is tough, and my my laptop is heating up, so excuse me if there's um, any cuts with the recording. Uh, I'm going to get a new microphone soon, so expect better commentaries. And also, um, for those of you that was in the Discord event a couple days ago, we were playing Scribble and we did some free-for-all Ranbats, and that was really fun. So if you want to join that, Please come on Discord more often because I'm officially more active. School's kind of over. I mean, I still have work, but we're chilling. Um, yeah, let's just keep watching the game because honestly, this is just stall for the next couple of turns. Uh, the poor run is insane, but I'm really lucky that I got burned because that means I can't get toxic. But if that happened, I had the mess for it anyway for Healing Wish, so not a big deal, but it was really nice getting that burn off. Here we see the opponent send out an Aromatisse, and I don't know about you guys, but Aromatisse is one of the uh, Pokemon that I just really hate running into in Gen 8 Ranbats. Aromatisse, Vaporeon, Umbreon, you know, those three, or Toxapex, or Shuckles. Just tanky, stally Pokemon, I hate them. I mean, I say I hate them, but I'm using it to win this battle. Um, Jesus, fuck, fly! Oh, cut, cut, cut! <laughs> Alright, before I was so rudely interrupted by that winged devil, uh, I was talking about stall Pokemon and how much I hate them, but that makes me sound like a hypocritical idiot. So I don't, I don't know why you watch me, um, but thanks for watching, guys. Uh, it's not the ending of the video. It sounded like I was doing anything, but no. Uh, we're still not even halfway into the video because this was a really long battle. It was eight minutes, um, roughly, give or take, when I filmed the, the just the replay, but playing the game itself, I think maybe took 20, 30 minutes because uh, both uh, Tem, Temgen, Temgen and I, uh, we were just kind of taking our time to think about the game. Uh, you might think it's a no-brainer, just like stalling, but nah, not really. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of back and forth switching in and out because this this game took way too long, but it was, it was really fun and it was definitely one of the most challenging battles I've had in a while because I had to try and preserve the Mesprit so that it wouldn't die and the Mesprit was scarfed so I only had one move the entire game. And yeah, um, I'm running out of things to say, but uh, while I was playing this game, I was jamming out hard to some uh, David Bowie and, you know, Blue Oyster Cult. Uh, shit. Comment down below what your favorite band is. Yeah, uh, maybe I'll do that for the question and answer video, because I'm going to be doing a QA and a video soon. So if you have any questions for Fred, um, there's a comment. You can leave them in the comments with a uh, question for Fred, or you can do it in my Discord channel, uh, or reply to my, to my community post that I made a few days ago asking for questions. Uh, I've, re I've received lots of questions so far, and that, that video might be really fun, so yeah, I look forward to that, guys. Alright, it is, it is currently now 12 in the afternoon, I just had lunch, I took a huge break from making this video, uh, I feel a bit more awake. Now I'm chewing some gum, and what kind of gum do you like? You know, I have a lot of people complain to me that I chew gum really, really loud. Uh, I, I, I never hear it, but I guess it's true. Uh, but yeah, back to the game, um, Kyurem scared the hell out of me. The freeze dry, just, it was absolutely scary. But I knew I could stall it through if I could just continuously wish and protect. And if things went south, I could just switch out um, to my last Mon, which I can't re really remember who it was. Because, it, as I said, uh, I'm watching this replay for the first time. Oh, Dialga, okay, there we go. So perfect counter for Kyurem, but I know that Kyurem sometimes runs Earth Power, so that was a bit of concern. But luckily we have a Levitate Mesprit. But then I forgot that Kyurem has that ability that's similar to Mold Breaker. What is it like, Terrible or something? I can't remember. Let me let me know. I, I'm not the best Pokemon player. I don't remember everything. 
but I think I know enough to, you know, get me by and not be, like, super low ladder. I feel like I know enough about Pokemon to put me in, like, mid-tier, you know? I'm not, like, great, but I'm not bad. I'm, like, okay. I'll get really lucky, but yeah, um, I've also seen a lot of like, questions and comments asking me how I come up with, um, team building ideas or strategies. Honestly, I don't. I'm not the best at it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go online and I'll look for like inspirational type like uh, team themes or whatever and then I'll kind of put things together and then from there I'll put a sw uh, spin on it. Uh, my take. Pineapple take. Let's let's put it that way, right? But um, yeah, uh, I know that the Aromatisse is no longer a threat because Dialga, but they land a crit. Of course they land a crit. What, what is that, like a 1 in 24, 1 in 25 chance? And Yeah, I mean, it, it is whatever, right? Because it's part of the game. Uh, I can't complain about hacks, or I can't complain about crits or flinches, because, I mean, it's an in-game mechanic. It's kind of silly not to. I mean, or if silly to complain about it. I don't know. Uh, I'm rambling. But this is the first time I've ever used a Dynamax Vaporeon, and oh my god, it, it was cool. Just the other day, I was playing some Showdown with a friend, and I used a Dynamax um, uh, Toxapex, and it was it was insane seeing all that HP, just all that doubled HP. Um, but yeah, it's kind of crazy how Shedinja doesn't have double HP when it Dynamaxes. I mean, it kind of should, but it also shouldn't for Shedinja because it's, you know, that gimmick. But yeah, enough of my rambling. This is what I mean, like, I'll see one thing and my brain clings onto that and it just, I jump from one thing to another really quickly. And a lot of my friends have said that it's pretty hard to keep up with me when I talk because I'm just all over the place. So yeah, let me know if you enjoy these um, commentaries by leaving a like or just like in the comments, let me know if you like them because I, I, I totally get if you just want to watch some chill Pokemon showdown with some music in the background. But also, if you want uh, if you want to see more commentaries, I understand that too because personally, I like both. I like to be able to uh, listen to my content creators and, you know, interact with them almost. But um, sometimes it's just nice putting on some music in the background. But yeah, at this point, I knew I won the game, uh, but it was still kind of risky because he couldn't really hurt me with the Dynamax moves. The only move that I was scared of was the Freeze Dry, but since Kiram Dynamaxes, it loses that Freeze Dry and it just becomes Max Hailstorm, so not too worried. But I knew that, the uh, well, the plan was that when Kiram died, when the Dynamax uh, went, went away, I just had to keep stalling with Wish and Retire to Kids. Two crits from a Freeze Dry or, like, it freezes me and I'm dead, so... Yeah, and good game, well played, uh, regardless of who won 10 gen. That, that's what I always um, say towards the end of the games. Because honestly, I just, I play to have fun. I don't care if you win or lose, but I just get really annoyed. And I might not say GG if you leave the game mid game and just let the timer run out on me. Uh, but yeah, that concludes the video. And really consider leaving a like. If you if you stuck around for this long anyway, you might as well leave a like and help me out with the video. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a great day. And stay tuned for the next video.